it's Nicole from Nicole's Nails. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is something that I meant to put up a few days ago, but I've had kind of to spin in a funky mood, so I'm a little late at getting this up. Anyway, so I have the long overdue Fall 2021 collection by Night Owl Lacquer. I also have their cream of the month polishes for October as well as November. These polishes are all available right now on the Night Owl Lacquer website, which I will have linked down below. I will also have a link to my blog post with all of my swatch photos. I also have some comparisons up on the blog post as well, if, those, if that would be of interest to you. Um, let's just get into the video. This first polish is called Harvest. It is described as a rusty red creme polish. It is priced at $8. This is the cream of the month polish for the month of November. Harvest had a fantastic formula. It was slightly on the thicker side of normal, but around the consistency of what I expect from an opaque indie cream. And as you can see, this polish is very opaque. It was opaque on me in one coat, but you all know I don't do one coat of anything. This applied buttery smooth. It's self levels like a dream. Absolutely perfect. I found the base color is like a true fall red. It did not feel like a holiday or a summer red. It was just like that sweet spot for a perfect fall red. So as I mentioned, I am showing this one in two coats plus top coat. It did dry down fairly glossy, but I, I added top coat. And as you can see here, it also stamps really well over both black and white. Obviously this polish will be very easy to remove and I also did not experience any staining. Next up, we have Mischief. This is described as a blackened teal cream and it's priced at $8. This is the October cream of the month. Mischief also had an amazing formula that was slightly on the thicker side, but again, what I expect from an opaque indie cream. This polish was absolutely amazing. I am just finding that the creme polishes by this brand in general are all on the thicker side and all equally amazing. Just a heads up there. So this one also self levels like a dream. It was absolutely perfect. So this is a very dark teal shade. I didn't find that it was so dark that it will look black and low lighting as you're seeing here. This is like I brought this into the shade, but again, it is very dark. I didn't see a point in trying to stamp this over black just because it was so dark. So I stamped it here over white. This one also stamped perfectly. This was a one coater on me and I did not experience any staining. First up from the fall collection is called Fall is Amazing. <laughs> this one is described as a warm mustard yellow loaded with a gold micro holographic glitter. It's priced at $11. This polish had a beautiful, beautiful formula. I found the base color is a light warm mustard shade. The glitters in this are all very small, so they will not dry down overly textured and they are super holographic. This polish will likely be a two to three coater depending on your own personal preference and potentially your nail length. I am showing this one in three coats. I found that the third coat just slightly deepened the base color compared to two coats, but it was really minimal, so I don't think it was actually necessary. <laughs> but if you have longer nails, I would expect you likely would want to go in for three coats. I tried to rush outside um, right around sunset to see if I can get some daylight shots of this, but the sun wasn't very strong, so this isn't showing just how holographic it was in person. As I mentioned, this dries down just slightly textured due to all of those glitters. I used one coat of top coat and that seemed to smooth it out completely for me. However, I did not have it on for very long, so I can't vouch for how long it will stay smooth for. Removal will be on the difficult side just due to all those glitters. I will have a video linked in the description box on how I remove glitter polishes the easy way. Next up, we have I think all of you. <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to say that without laughing and obviously it didn't work. So this one is described as an olive green linear holographic with a bronze to gold to green multi-chrome shimmer. It's priced at $13. This polish had a wonderful formula. The base color is exactly as described and this is very holographic. I found the shimmer was kind of slightly overshadowed by the holographic element. Um, if you're in lighting that kind of sucks for holographic, you will see that shimmer very strongly. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't get any daylight shots for this one. The sun disappeared while I was watching, so <laughs> sorry about that. So this one's gonna be a two to three coater depending on your own nail length. I use two coats for my photos. Longer nails will likely want to go in for three coats. Nothing in here will dry down textured, but it will dry down dull, so you will want top coat for a nice glossy finish. Next up, we have Sunsets with Sasquatch. This is described as a dark brown base filled with a red to copper to gold shifting shimmer. 
It's priced at $13. This polish also had a fantastic formula. It did not feel overly thick or thin and no application issues. The shimmer in this is very strong and very color shifty. This is going to be one of those shimmers that almost obscure the base color. Like you're going to be getting a lot of boom pow from that shimmer. It was just a tiny bit brush strokey. Not so brush strokey that you have to be careful with your brush strokes as you're applying it. But just like just a hint of brush strokes. It's very minimal. I found the colors that I was seeing in person were like a pinkish kind of red, a copper to a gold, and like hints of green at extreme angles. This will likely be a two to three coater depending on your own personal preference. I found the third coat did slightly deepen the base color as well as add some opacity. Obviously nothing in here will dry on texture or be difficult to remove. You will want top coat for a nice glossy finish. And the final polish is called Feeling Gourd. This is described as a light gray glowing with a bronze to copper to gold to green aurora shimmer and it's priced at $13. Feeling Gourd had a fantastic formula. It did not feel overly thick or thin and I had no application issues. I found the shimmer in this was extremely glowy, just super, this has like an ethereal kind of glow to it. I feel like this would be really fun for like ghost nail art if you're into that kind of thing. So the shimmer in this I found was exactly as described. I was seeing all of those colors. It has more of like a scattered shimmer effect than um, some like a smoother shimmer. So you're not going to see any brush strokes through it. This will likely be a two to three coater depending on your own personal preference. I found it had pretty good coverage in two coats, but it was just a tiny bit sheer um, towards the tip. So I swatched this one in three coats. Nothing in here will dry down texture or it will be difficult to remove and no issues with staining. You will want top coat as this does dry down just a tiny bit dull. And just a heads up, there will be a comparison of this polish up on my blog post with the last month's release of Breath of a Banshee. And so that is it for all of the October releases is by Night Owl Lacquer. Again, I apologize that this video is going up a little late. I just had a had a bad week to be honest. Um, so yeah, again, all these are available right now. They are linked down below. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day and hope you all have a great weekend. I will see you all in the next video. Bye!